Hello and welcome back to Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventures. It's just me today. I'm out here in Elizabeth. I am going to be working on a snowmobile that we have, a, what you would call a vintage if you'd like to be kind. Um, we have a 1967 uh, Caribou that uh, we purchased back, or my father purchased back in uh, 68 at Montgomery Wards, made in Sweden. So, um, I don't think we could write in and order replacement parts anymore for this. But uh, we're working on getting this uh, kind of gonna fix it up. So I've uh, gotten myself a uh, rebuilt motor from a guy out here. And uh, my job today, or the start of today, this will probably take a little while, will be to uh, sand her down and get her repainted. Now the hood is fiberglass and for the most part, it's in pretty good condition. You got some cracks for being over 50 years old and such. Uh, but I don't think I'm gonna be uh, touching that. I think we'll be okay with that one. But it's the body. Um, used to be bright yellow. And we're going to uh, sand this down and then prime it and then repaint it. So it's been in storage for a really long time and uh, it's time to get it out. It does have Tread, tread's not too bad, had looked at that. Also I have a seat for it, but as you can see, it's in bad shape as well. So uh, I'm gonna be looking to get this recovered. Uh, there's also a seat that goes on the back here, or a back, which I'll get also recovered. So, but, uh, so I've already done some preliminary work on it. Uh, had a guy, the skis are off because they're being, uh, gonna be sandblasted. You say it's a rebuilt motor, new clutch. Um, we're going to be putting in a, a new gas line and all of that as we get closer. But first steps, got to get this cleaned up. So I got my sander, got some primer, and we're going to get her going. Okay, so now I have sprayed it down with a power wash and it got not really clean but it took some of the scum off of it so that's good uh, now i'm going to take the heavy duty sander got my mask and we're going to do some sanding see if we can get rid of some of this rust here get it down to uh to the metal so we'll see how that goes hopefully i've got high enough you can see some of the metal here from when the paint came off so we're not that far from it so we should be okay all right here we go, let's see how it goes. All right, so I've done some uh, sanding here and it's brought it way down. Still have the flex, but uh, when I sand it down, I think we'll be good to be able to uh, prime it. I've done this side here, a little bit of this, needs a little bit more. And then I've got all this grease and such down here on the front. So I put some degreaser on it. I'm gonna use some Dawn and see if I can scrub some of that off before I sand it. Same thing here, just to clean it up. And then on the back, we've got this little skirt, which probably will need to be replaced. It's pretty split here on part of it, and it's the original. Um, but I'm taking this off as well so I can get underneath there. Super long screws on these. It goes way in there, so I'm surprised on that. But yeah, a couple more. Nice, I gotta do this side. And then we got the bottom here, which is pretty banged up. I think Dad hit a tree, that's why we got the dent here. Um, you can see it's pretty scraped up here, so we'll uh, sand all this down so we can paint it as well. 
like you say, there's the track, and track looks actually not bad. It looks pretty good. All right, keep on going. Okay, so the little back uh, duster, if you will, has been taken off. You can see right up the thing. This is a pretty basic vehicle, that's for sure. Um, here it is. I thought it was in a little better shape. We got some cracks all the way through, so might have to replace this one. In fact, you're probably going to say, yes, I'm going to replace this. So, but uh, yeah, there we go. Do a little sand in here, make sure this is all good. Get in there. All right, so next part. So I've sanded the whole back end. Looks pretty good. What I'll do is sand it again with that uh, little bit of a finer, and then I'll do some spray uh, primer on it, so we, but I'll wipe it down. Also. The front has a bunch of grease and uh, that kind of thing from the old mower. And I couldn't get it off. I sprayed a little Mr. Clean Clean Freak on it, let that sit, and then I took just some dishwashing detergent with some water, put that with a towel, and it really is coming off. So there's that bright yellow that we were talking about, that original color. So yeah, much, much better. So we'll get all that cleaned right up. Okay, so I've cleaned it up and then sprayed it down with the hose once again. And I'm letting it dry in the sun, but much better. Got a little bit of stuff here that I'll hit again. But you can see how that, all this is cleaned up and all that gunk is gone now. It's pretty much the metal and there's a little bit of dirt still, but I think that's okay. I've got this issue. I'm gonna have to put some Bondo in, I think, cause I believe that's rust. But uh, some, some bare metal here. I'll prime, put some uh, primer on that today. But I think it's much better. That really worked well. So let's see, that's clean. That's much cleaner. That's clean. So that's our original yellow. So we'll try to get when we paint this to get that color right back again. Alright everybody, hello. It is a couple weeks later now since the uh, last time you saw me. I'm back out here with the snowmobile, which has been pretty much sanded to the best of my ability. Um, it would be best if I could uh, sandblast it and get it down to this metal here all over it. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that. I really wish I could, but it's just something I'm not going to be able to do. So we're going we're gonna to go for it. We're going to keep going, because if not, it will sit here for another three or four years. So. Time to move forward. I'm going to do some primer, get it primed up. Then after that, then I will go and, uh, not today, of course, I'll prime it today. And then later on, I'll come back and paint it. I have a, I have a, a pray, uh, paint sprayer. Gonna get it back to this lovely yellow here. Uh, I'll do that another date. And after that, take it back to my motor, my uh, snowmobile guy. He's gonna put the uh, skis back on and uh, put the motor on it put the shell back on and we should be good to go. I did take over the um, upholstery. I took the seat and the back uh, cushions over to a place over here and I'm having those reupholstered. Um, so those should be done sometime soon as well. So we're getting there slowly but surely. So we'll do a little priming today. Five minutes later. We have been primed. So it looks like a big battleship. First layer on. If I can, I'll probably do a little bit more in some of the areas that you can see that are a little weak. So once it dries, I'll do that. And in the meantime, the next week or so, I'll try to find out to get some paint of that nice yellow. And next time we come out, we'll do a little touch up, let that dry, and then do some yellow spray paint. And after that, we let it dry, we're good to go. Okay, it's a little bit later, actually next day and I'm um, continuing to work on the snowmobile. Brought, uh, came back home and I have yeah, a steering mechanism. Uh, pretty basic there. 
But uh, so I'm working on sanding, sanding it off, getting the, uh, that old paint off, the yellow paint off of it. As you can see, I did the main area, working on this, got that. So I'm just gonna keep working on this and then uh, I'll bring it back on Wednesday when I continue to work on it. But uh, making some progress. We've got our, uh, so when it's, when it's attached, like so, you got your gas here, and then you've got your your brake here. And obviously these brake and gas lines uh, will have to be replaced. They have been broken, so we're gonna get those replaced as well. So um, not too complicated from 1967. Go, stop, steer. And that's about it. <laughs> All right, everybody, hello. Um, it is now two weeks later from the last video that you just saw. And we're here and we got it uh, primed last time we're out here. It's nice and gray, got a little battleship. We got our sprayer paint, which looks pretty much similar to this yellow. We got it matching pretty well. We're gonna do a quick coat on this and then uh, let it dry and then we'll do another coat. And I'm hoping might get this done today uh, after it dries or there are two coats maybe three depending on how it looks uh, and then uh, I want to put a little clear coat on it just to protect it so uh, we will see how it goes all right and this is a brand new sprayer I've never used a sprayer before so yeah it'll be a uh, we'll just kind of practice I may practice here because this will be covered with the, uh, the seat anyway um, it's a nice cloudy day which is good Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, and so that is it for this stage. We have painted our chassis, if you will. Bright yellow, back to the color that it was. I've put three coats on it, so I believe we're good to go. Um, here's the uh, hood for it, which obviously is still very raw. This is fiberglass. I'm not gonna do anything with it, I'm not going to repaint it. I'm just going to see once I get it, the motor pack on and everything back on, then I'll look to uh, clean up the fiberglass. I'm sure there's something out there, some kind of product I can do to clean this up. Here's our motor, which right now is sitting in a chair, as you can see. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to keep this motor. I don't think so. I think we're going to get one that's an actual uh, push start rather than doing the pull start. But uh, there's our motor. It's pretty much like a lawnmower mower, not very powerful. So the next uh, step on this is, I'll be uh, next week. I'll be taking it over to our snowmobile guy. He's going to put the uh, motor back in, which hopefully actually will be a different motor. Uh, he'll get all the clutch and all of that hooked up. Um, put the hood back on. We'll get the lights on. Uh, confirm that the track is good, which it looks like it is. Uh, we will put the skis back on, which he has the skis back on which he has and are going to uh, he's going to sandblast those those are black so we'll get those and i should be able to pick up the seat which i've reupholstered and the back seat which goes right there uh, both have been reupholstered i'll pick those up next week um, and then hold on to them so when i get back i can put those on and we should be good to go so that is the end of this video uh, the next video i do for this will be when we get it back and it's actually running so hopefully fingers crossed it won't be that long now I am kind of just uh, going with my snowmobile guys uh, whatever his schedule is so it could be a little bit before I actually get it because we're kind of doing this in trade um, all the, the repairs and stuff so kind of have to go with flow and be flexible but that is it been a long journey 
Um, and hopefully we can restore this little puppy back to at least running and fun uh, condition. So we'll have another video once we get to there. And uh, that is it. So thank you again for joining us for Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventures. If you like these videos, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hit that like button and make sure you hit the bell so you can get the notifications when we do release videos. Usually every Wednesday and Saturday. Right now we've put our Saturday shows on hiatus, but we will get those back up and again. So uh, that's it. Thanks again for joining us. We'll see you next time.